I, I'm nervous and excited at the same time. Don't know what's going to happen, I guess. You're either going to come last or first or in between. It just makes you feel real good, like about everything. Like I've been talking to heaps of kids today and they just have smiles from ear to ear. They're just having so much fun and it's so cool to see. It's the highlight of our daughter's year. She told me that again last night. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's what she looks forward to for the whole year. This is the first time in three years there's been gymnastics and when Millie saw this on the programme she was so excited and it was like her number one choice. I think she's done a forward roll for the first time ever today. <laughs> yeah, 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 there's been some big smiles. <laughs> I've been playing for a while and I've just been seeing more and more kids come along and have a go. You, you get to make friends, you enjoy it. This is where you can be yourself as a disability. So we're just here to chat to the young athletes about how high performance a sport can be benefited by in a good, healthy, nutritious diet. Uh, so hopefully we've given them something to take away that they can implement into their training and take them to that next level. I had this dream of one day being the best in the world. And that dream, and my love of Jeff and Fry, is really what has driven me in my sport. On the 8th of September 2016, I had the courage and the strength to swim my way to my first Paralympic bronze medal. So we're running a wheelchair racing masterclass. Not as many wheelchair races as we'd like here in, in New Zealand, so we're trying to really promote the sport and get it going, and, uh, and it looks like a lot of great, excited athletes to uh, get out onto the track and uh, have a go. So we came out today really to get people involved in the indoor rowing machine. It doesn't matter if you're able-bodied or disabled, you can use it. There's fixed seats that we use for people that don't have leg function or, or minimal trunk function. To come out here is really special. These kids, you know, I, I coach a lot of people. Um, there's a thirst for these kids to learn. They want some knowledge, they want to get better, and it's just such a lovely thing to see. It's that sense of purpose, it's that sense of pride and joy, and you know, it's emotional for the people that are watching as well. It's, it's really cool. Some of them are here for competition, some of them are here to try and find another sport that they may love, and some are here for friendship, and I think that they've fulfilled all of those. Like, it's where you come and join and just have fun with all different disabilities, really.